Fibromuscular dysplasia, or FMD, is a vascular disease that's not related to cholesterol or cigarette smoking or any of the usual things that people think of with heart or vascular disease. It's, we really don't know what the cause of it is, why it occurs, but it, it occurs predominantly in women. More than 90% of people with FMD are women. And while it can affect any artery in the body, it most commonly affects the arteries to the kidney, the renal arteries, or the internal carotid arteries that go to the brain. And the most common type of FMD, the arteries look like a string of beads. So there's areas of enlargement and areas of constriction or narrowing in the artery. It's very easy to recognize. While atherosclerosis occurs at the origin of an artery, FMD occurs in the mid and the distal portion of the artery. The question is how common is this in the general population, and we really don't know that, but there's evidence from studies that have been done on people who want to donate kidneys um, for renal transplantation that about 4% of the population may have this. Most of this is without any symptoms at all, but the most common signs or symptoms are high blood pressure when it affects the renal arteries, TIA or stroke if it affects the internal carotid arteries or the vertebral arteries. And then there's a whole host of nonspecific symptoms like headache, dizziness, wooziness, fullness of the ears, pulsatile tinnitus where patients actually hear a swishing sound in their ear. So those are the most common presentations of fibromuscular dysplasia. I would say that a primary care doctor should refer any patient who is under the age of 60 and has a carotid or cervical brewery, any patient who has high blood pressure and a brewery in the abdomen or epigastrum, and any patient who has an aneurysm or a dissection who's under the age of 60.